images or if you're planning on doing it, take before and after pictures and there'll be more information about that as well. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, this evening we have a couple of presentations. The first is a uh, presentation uh, of a proclamation pro uh, proclaiming the week of May 10th to the 16th is National Police Week in San Bruno. And let me just take a minute and read a little bit of it. Whereas the members of the San Bruno Police Department play an essential role in protecting the rights and freedoms of the citizens of San Bruno, by safeguarding life and property, protecting our citizens against violence, disorder, and deception, and whereas the men and women of the San Bruno Police Department and all law enforcement officers provide a vital public service despite the risk and hazards faced, now therefore be it resolved that I, Larry Franzella, Mayor of the City of San Bruno, hereby proclaim the week of May 10th through the 16th as National Police Week, and I encourage all residents to join me in commending law enforcement officers past and present who have rendered dedicated service to their community by preserving the rights and security of all citizens. And I'd like to present this to Officer Mark Phillips. Thank you. 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 Thank once again holding our very popular Police Recognition Day event on May 16th from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. in the shop to Tanferan Mall. I'd like to see an uh, open invitation to everyone to come. And this will be our 27th year that the San Bernal Police Department has hosted this event to honor police officers killed or disabled while serving their communities. The event will include police canine demonstrations and we will expect approximately 25 agencies and three or four officers for each agency uh, to be in attendance for our event. This is a great opportunity to meet and interact with your neighborhood <coughs> police officers and observe the many steps being taken to strengthen communications between local police departments and you, the community. In behalf of the San Bernal Police Department and myself, thank you very much for this proclamation. Again, very honored to uh, receive this. Thank you. Thank you very much. <coughs> We have another proclamation to be presented this uh, evening, declaring the week, the following week, May 17th to the 23rd, as Public Works Week in the City of San Bruno. And whereas the efficiency of qualified and dedicated personnel who staff the City of San Bruno Public Works Department is influenced by citizens' attitude and understanding of the work they perform, now therefore I, Larry Franzella, Mayor of the City of San Bruno, proclaim May 17th to May 23rd, 2009, as Public Works Week in San Bruno and call upon all of our citizens and civic organizations to acquaint themselves with the issues involved in providing our public works to the community and recognize the contributions that our public works officials and staff make every day to our health, safety, and comfort and quality of life. And I'll present this to our public works director, Clara Fabry. <coughs> Honorable Mayor, Council Members, on behalf of all of the employees of the Public Works Department, uh, I, uh, I am expressing our thanks and for your appreciation and support for uh, their uh, daily hard work and on behalf of the whole uh, city. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, item 5, review of agenda. I have nothing to be moved on the agenda and hearing none from Council. Move on to item 6, approval of the minutes. The special council meeting and regular council meeting of April 28, 2009. The minutes stand approved as submitted unless there's any changes or corrections. Seeing none, they'll stand approved. Uh, item 7, consent calendar. All items are considered routine or implemented. Earlier council action may be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion unless requested by council members, citizen, or staff. Anything to be pulled or action on a consent calendar? Move to accept. Second. second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item 8, public hearings. Notices have been published, posted, mail, hold public hearing, waive first reading, introduce ordinances, adjusting water and wastewater rates as presented in the notice of proposed increases, mail to all property owners. And staff report first. Mr. Mayor, member of, members of the City Council, two items are before you tonight for public hearing, and those are 
proposed increases to our rates for the water and sewer enterprise operations. The rate that is being proposed tonight is part of a three-year rate program. It is subject to a mailed notice process, which I will describe in just a moment. And it is also uh, required that the City Council hold a public hearing prior to taking action on the proposed rates. The action that the Council would take is actually in two parts because our rates are set by ordinance. So tonight you will be hearing from the public and uh, hearing from staff and asking questions and making comments. We will bring this item back to you, uh, assuming your direction is to do so. We will bring this back to you for a second reading at your next regular council meeting on May 26th, at which time any council action uh, would be taken. <coughs> Again, as I indicated, the rates are being proposed for a three-year period. Uh, this comes on the heels of a prior three-year period of a rate program which was adopted by the City Council in 2006 and which rates are effective now until June 30th, 2009. Pursuant to the legally required process for the City Council to undertake consideration of rate changes for its utility operations, the city has uh, complied with those requirements as articulated in Proposition 218. Uh, on March 24th, 2009, the City Council received and directed staff to provide mailed notice on the proposed rates. Uh, the notices were subsequently mailed on March 27th, thereby initiating a 45-day review period for property owners in San Bruno who would be potentially affected by the rate program. Again, the, your public hearing tonight is the next but not final step in the process of rate setting. The proposed increases uh, and tonight you'll see that the presentation, uh, rather than doing two separate presentations on the water and the wastewater enterprises, we'll be doing that in a combined manner for efficiency. The proposed water rate increase totals 11.78% for the year beginning July 1. And the proposed wastewater rate increase totals 10.16% for the year beginning July 1. As staff will further discuss with you later in the presentation, additional rate increases are proposed in the subsequent two years of the three-year program. However, I, I wanted to make sure that it was clear exactly what is being proposed because there has been, in addition to the 45-day mailed notice that was provided by the City of San Bruno, there has been other information circulating in the community that suggests, in fact, that a 40 and 30 percent rate increase is being considered tonight. Um, while it is accurate that a cumulative increase over three years would total more than, it roughly equates to the numbers that were provided in that separate notice that was disseminated by uh, somebody other than the City of San Bruno, um, it is not accurate to suggest that that amount of an increase is being considered to take effect on July 1. Again, those amounts are in the water enterprise, 11.78 percent, and in the wastewater enterprise, 10.16 percent. As I indicated, and just for a very quick review, the public notification process requires that notices are provided to residents of any rate change at least 45 days prior to the first reading of the ordinance, which is on your agenda tonight. And the City Council has the ability to adjust the rates um, by the proposed amount or by a lesser amount except if the city were to receive protests from more than 50 percent of the property owners in San Bruno receiving the mailed notice. The mailed notice, again, as I indicated, was uh, sent out on March 27th. 
and since that time, the city has received a total of 387 protests. Um, I've given a, a summary of those protests in a, a document that is on the DS tonight and which is available um, if anybody else wants it. Uh, we were able in the time uh, at the, up to the close of today's business to summarize those protests and to identify the, the number of those that were provided uh, with the required parcel number and signature of the property owner. Uh, that number is 352. However, as uh, the City Council has always uh, directed staff to seek the maximum public input possible, and I know it is your historic and current practice to listen and to uh, uh, accept comment from, from anybody who wants to take the time to communicate with you, um, we are reporting to you the total number of 387 protests. That number includes those that uh, didn't have a, a signature on them or omitted a parcel number. And I would just note for the record that the city has not uh, either had the time or at this point taken the time to verify property ownerships uh, with matching the signatures against the, uh, the parcel number. Uh, again, that number represents approximately 3.3 percent of the total number of notices that were mailed to property owners in the city, uh, suggesting that while that 3.3 percent have taken the time to communicate their protests to you, that uh, a, the overwhelming majority, well over 96 percent of residents who have received notices from the city and potentially from others um, have not done so. With that, uh, our presentation tonight includes two additional parts. Uh, that is one that will be delivered by Jim Shannon of